I think uh, they, they asked me to go this size. I think sort of. Oh, like in words. Bo bo bobble in, bobble in the middle. Yeah. Bobble, no, in, bobble in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> yes, here we are. We are back. This is our third episode of our, is it a Christmas special? It's the AGP 203 2019 Chrome Feature Olympics. Slam dunk. The, Olymp the Olympics at Christmas. <laughs> the Christmas Olympics. The um, Olympics. The cr <laughs> so, we have already taken six, eight. eight. Thank you, son. <laughs> it's the end of the year. I'm so tired. Well done. What have we taken? We've taken numeric separators, Intel stuff, match all class fields, image aspect ratio, uh, blob reading, imaging clipboard. This text is really small for the, and I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> and sharing, and we have whittled it down to just sharing. Just sharing, yeah. That's the best of them all. And, and so that is canonical and infallibly correct. In, infallibly. 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 Whatever. That's fine. No. Um, yeah, get me to speak German. I'm not going <laughs> to. You I did. Are you oh, first? yeah. <laughs> I have zwei Pony. Zwei Ponies. Actually, zwei is two. Yeah. Well done, you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, genuinely, this is another tangent. Um, no, I, a tangent on two or three. <laughs> it's, it's Christmas. We're allowed to tangent. Um, I, I was speaking at a conference in Germany, and I went to the bar. And I, on the way to the bar, I was like, I did German at school. I got this. And I walked to the bar, and I went, I know, and then I realized that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, zwei, you could have said zwei. Well, no, but, I, but it was more, I didn't want eine zwei. <laughs> I wanted a beer. I thought maybe just go for two beers and keep it simple. Yeah, the problem wasn't the number. It was the beer. <laughs> Let me tell right. you, if you go to a German bar okay. and just say zwei, you will get two beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> If that only is, I knew. If only I that's knew. That's how we roll. Excellent. OK, circling back to yeah. this. Yeah, so we, and we came up with sharing mm -hmm. as our finalist. And now we need to find the other finalist. The other finalist. Yes. We have 16 more slots. We have eight more slots. See, now you're getting the number wrong. Can I, can I, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I meant 15. Oh, I see. I'm you're 15. trying to get out of it. OK, yes, you're right. OK, we have, we, we, we've got, We've got multiple decisions to make. Actually, 16 for the winner. So 16. Boom, I was right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. Let's stop okay. talking nonsense. I, I'll... <laughs> let's, let's get down to business of finding out the feature we like the most. What have you got? Takes two to tangent. <laughs> That's what we should have called this show. <laughs> Why is it two or three instead of takes two to tangent? Right, I OK. Like Backdrop filter. Backdrop filter. OK. I like this one. There it is. And you want to you wanna jump straight into no. talking oh, about it? Oh, I do, it? actually. This is how we do it. Yeah. OK, so backdrop filter is basically allowing you to define how oh, an element's background interacts with whatever is behind that element. So we have a couple of decently sized square elements here and go through different variants. So the background image is just an image in the background. And depending on which element is on top, they render differently. So you can do right. sepia. You can saturate the background. You can shift the hue. You can do brightness. All these things which can yield really, really nice effects. So we've seen this on, oh, I think it was Windows Vista when it first did it. But Mac also does it now. It's like where, where the window has that sort of frosted glass effect. Oh, yeah, blur is one of them. Here it comes. Um, Way, here blur it is. is one Look of at them it go. Where you can blur whatever is behind Excellent. the element. Amazing. Um, and that's it. That's it. It's, it's just a simple CSS feature, but I think it allows you some really, really nice visual effects. It, it's something developers have, have been trying to hack around, like having to provide multiple images. And then do some masks. And, and yeah. All, yeah. OK. OK, fair enough. But I am going to pick something else. I'm going to pick this one. What have I got? Something good, please. All settled. All settled. <laughs> there it is. Take two. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> <laughs> so all settled. Here we go. Uh, this is not as good as your feature. <laughs> or maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll find let's, out. let's see. 
So promise.all. Yes. You've seen this. You give it multiple promises, and it will resolve with the uh, all of them, the, the, things, <laughs> the thing all of them settle with, Yes. Uh, fulfill with. Um, but it will also reject as soon as one of them rejects. Right. So it, it, I think they call it a short circuit. If one of them rejects, it short circuits. Yes. So if you are fetching 10 things and one of them fails, For the, the whole operation fails. Yes. Which can be problematic, because in that case, you would sort of really want to know which one failed and then keep the other, keep ones. The other ones and refetch that one, yeah. maybe, or something like that. You know, uh, well, it's amazing that you want that, because look, it hath arrived. Um, this is promised to all settled. Oh, it's quite complex in the data structure that it gives you, isn't it? But so yeah, you, at yeah. least you have access to both the data and the actual status exp explicitly. It, yes. So you, you get an object for every promise you pass in. You get the status of fulfilled or rejected. And you get the reason if it rejects. Yeah. Uh, and you get the value that it fulfills with if it fulfills. So this is where you would get right. all of your fetches, or you get like you know you you get your responses for everything yeah. that worked, or you'd get your reason for the one that didn't, and you, you can yeah um, decide to retry that one. And that that is that is it. That is it. That is it, isn't it? Um, <sighs> so actually, that, now I said that out loud, it was it sounded better than I thought. It's it's convenient. Yeah. It's nice to have. I actually I have to admit I haven't needed all settled. Well, because fetches, for example, only reject on network error. So it's kind of rare that some fetches would succeed and others don't. Oh, I see, because a 404 doesn't. Uh, there's lots of other operations, though, that will I know. Reject, I'm saying that I, see what you, there I, see what I haven't encountered them in the things that I've written, which is not yeah. surprising. I don't write that many things on a daily basis. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and also, what I will say is uh, I'm glad that all settled is there, but this is so easy to polyfill. Yeah, it's just literally a map. Yeah. If you can this use promise on all, you just map over the array you pass and just use a catch. Yeah. Actually, both then and a catch to turn it into that data structure. Yeah. You wouldn't even need the then. You just need the catch. Oh, no, you would to, to convert the... it into the object. Yeah. Yes. OK, fair enough. Yeah, but it's 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 like five lines of code. Right? Yeah, it's not the thing. Go backup on, filter. Then. Yeah, backup yeah, yeah, filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you. you. Yeah. I agree. No, I, I absolutely agree. I think that's totally You won fair. the first seven rounds in yeah. the other side. <laughs> yeah, but you've got the other finalists, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit worried. Right, so we're on to our next set of things. All right. Yeah. I shall pick a candidate. Media keys. Media keys. That is an exciting one. Uh, yeah, so off you go. You can present it. Media away. keys. Um, if you have. I ever wondered media keys. if you have media keys, which many of us do, mm. um, you might know that there, for the longest time there was a problem of pressing play, pause. And if you had media playing in the browser, they just wouldn't know. And, the, right. and they would usually just interact with like open iTunes or whatever yes. <laughs> would happen, which is really annoying. Yeah, exactly. Um, now web apps actually have the capabilities to subscribe to these keys. However, it is gated on having a media session. So you can't just say, right. I w give me the media keys. I own them now. You have to be playing a video file or an audio file that may be via web, web audio API or anything like that. But if you have a media session, then you can set what is called an action handler. I don't know why they call it an action handler and not an event handler, an event listener. That's, that's the spec. <laughs> but, um, Maybe because there's only one um, rather than multiple. Is it multiple. worth defining a new API for? Well, yeah. I guess. <laughs> that's, that's fair enough. But you could already do key listeners for this, but you have to be in right. on so the Right. So this page, means like that you focus. actually the, the window doesn't need to have focus. Right. And it would work. And music is an important use case for that, yeah. right? Like, I mean, the Spotify web player is really good. And this now allows that web player to actually listen to the media keys, even if you have focused something completely different on the system. I wonder if this works. Like, in the previous episodes, we were dropping each other in like a, a difficult question. Mine Keep going. This. Does this work with the media keys? you get in an Android notification. Yes. Uh -oh. Well, I the thing is that I think the media session you get on Android already is in the notification bar, and that is already directly tied to the playing element. That may, which oh, may so be... this might have already existed before that. And, on Android, it probably and... had worked before, gotcha. although this okay, would okay. obviously allow you to add custom code. So I think the play pause functionality worked before, but now you can run custom code in response to this action. Yes, so. which would be things like if you're, especially if you're using uh, media source extensions to fetch yeah. chunks, so you'd stop the, the fetching. Exactly. And so all I think this okay, okay, okay. would also work on Android. I'm pretty sure it will. All right, cool. All right. Well, uh, so my, my turn to pick a feature. Pick a feature. <sighs> Come on, then. Uh, 
going to take this one that you uh, ripped as we were. Nobody would have noticed if you didn't say look at, it. Look at that. Look at look what he did. All right. Uh, but. Oh, Jake gets a Jake feature. I get a Jake feature. Um, this is background fetch. There we go. Um, another one that we did a whole episode on. We did, because so, it's your feature. So why wouldn't you force it? Again, down? I'm really happy that I picked this. Um, <laughs> Because yes, it was one I, I had some involvement in the design and uh, the specification. Uh, this is a little app that we made. Uh, it's on Glitch for downloading our podcast. Did we, we do we a mention? podcast. We do a podcast. Yeah, should download it <laughs> with the app if you want well, to, maybe. or a real app. Oh, a real app. I like your confidence in your own app. <laughs> I don't maintain this app. It was built for a demo. Uh, I think it still it did it did still work when I, uh, I did this video. Anyway, so what what we're seeing here is you click download, it will start downloading the podcast, but it will be using background fetch rather than normal fetch. And that means that you can you get this like nice little notification that yeah. shows the progress. Um, but it also means that you can close the web page. You can literally kill the, whole browser. the tab or the browser. And this yep. will keep downloading because it's now in the operating system's hands, right? Yes. And then as soon as it's complete, uh, you can change what the notification says. Um, and then you get an event in the service worker. In fact, I, I, let's. Should we should we look at some code? Should we look at some code for that? Um, so this is where like, you take a service worker registration. You yeah. say, I want to fetch these things. It can be multiple things. because Good. That's you know, often the case. Yeah, artwork in an MP3. In the case of video, it can be like thousands of chunks of video. Yeah, they chunk the videos often, right? quite yeah. often, right? This is the information that will go into the uh, notification. Nice. There it is. Uh, and then over in service worker land, on success, you get the files, and you can do what you want I can't believe that this is what you call the event. It, well, what would you call it? We talked about this in the episode. Watch the episode if you want to know what <laughs> I would have called this event. We will have a second argument about it. OK. Uh, and then you can also have a click event on the notification, which will well, do what you want. right? You open the window, um, depending on whether it was a success or a failure or whether it's in progress. And that is the, the that is basically the whole that, thing. That is quite nice. Uh, we do have a whole episode on it. So, and it does upload yeah. as well, right, if I remember correctly? So yes, that is correct. Well, it, it's background fetch. So yeah, it's it, fetch it can, in the background. Yeah. And so it can be upload, download. It can actually be a combination of the two, because you can have a fetch which has a, a body and uh, on the request and on the response. So you can imagine Ooh. like sending something to the server and getting a converted version of that back. Oh, that could, yeah, that could work. Uh, yeah. Why so not? that's, that's Why upload not? and download, um, which is yeah something I don't know that people often forget about. It messes with progress bars a lot. Um, although I think we've dealt with it in this spec. Anyway, so yes, here you could instead of caching all the stuff. You could just be looking at the responses going, yes, I uploaded all the videos. Well done, me. <laughs> that is possible. Yes, that I is the <laughs> background fetch. Good. Yeah, this is not a big <laughs> competition. Right? Media keys, I, I actually, it's, it's a non polyfillable capability. In yeah. that sense, it is cool that we ship this. And I think there are apps that are going to be so, so happy that this exists. Yeah. The average web developer probably doesn't care as much. So the, the other. It's fair to say these are both somewhat niche features, right? Yeah, like I guess. Media keys is only if you're playing media, media. shockingly. <laughs> that, that the user is likely to have in the background, so your yeah. YouTube, your Spotify's, like, things like that. And background fetch is only if you're going to be dealing with uh, larger downloads and uploads. Yeah. Which feels like more, but it's still like your blog. You're not going to use it, right? Yeah, that's, um, that's true. So. I mean, maybe if you offered the user a button to say, do you want to download all the articles for offline, background fetch would still Probably be useful a good idea in that, at that case. Point, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, what do you reckon? Are you, are you... I think in terms of capability, background fetch is going to be more impactful. All right. All right, then. Cool. Uh, oh, and that means uh, we would need to do Oh, this. interesting. And we've got background backdrop filter and background fetch. Again, this problem we come up against of like a relatively a somewhat low level feature. Like yeah. fetch is the real low level. Background fetch is a little bit higher level because it handles combination it the of service system. workers and fetch and whereas backdrop filter is just it's like a one liner. Yeah. Make this do stuff to the background. Don't care. And it it's one of these things that you could you can definitely imagine two different camps of people having a strong opinion. About, oh yeah, absolutely. Like, Are we going to upset people with this? Um, yeah. That being said, I feel like backdrop filter is somewhat 
polyfillable, probably in an awful way. But there's ways you can work around the issue. You could provide multiple images. And, and most of the time, it's not about functionality. Backdrop filter is for visual embellishments. Um, which, which are the web, which, right? And, and like the web is a visual embellishment of data. They're important, but it's not, it's not holding the web back in terms of capabilities. We, yeah, we did have ways of working around this. Um, the bit that you couldn't really do is if you had like an SVG animation happening in the background and a thing right, on top yeah. which would combust and there blur. There were limits. That would be difficult. You would sort of have to go down to Canvas for that. But I mean, yeah. But with it's... background fetch, you either force the user to stay on the site to do your downloads or keep the cat tab alive somehow and do it while the page is open. Like It's definitely almost impossible to get resilient to to a normal user life cycle on a phone. Yeah, and this this does like take a chunk of what was previously native only territory. Yeah. Uh, like your um, you know offline video sites and makes them possible on the web. What do you reckon? What do yeah, you reckon? Should I'll, we go? Should we I go? press the button. I I'm not entirely sure which button you're going to press. Oh, you leave it up to me. Well, then. Oh, uh, I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> then we will use the correct one. Excellent. Fair. Fair enough. OK. So that means we have found, once again, our first semi-finalist. Yes. There's only one episode to go. Where we will declare the winner. The most popular feature, according to us. And that that's really all that matters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, until the next episode, then. See ya. <laughs> uh, uh, it, this, that, that would be my tactic if I, you know, if you go, if you go to the, the, the the toilet in a, in a place, and you're at the urinal, and then you look down and you realize you have just splashed back all over yourself. That's the, the tactic is just to go to the sink and just throw <laughs> <laughs> the water everywhere. You know, I just, and then sort of go out and just like, the tap exploded. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. It's definitely not we. <laughs> Which,